Next, Dr. Perlmutter is going to join me in a radical approach to preventing Alzheimer's. Dr. Perlmutter is a pioneer in treating neurological disorders. He has changed the way I view these problems because I've sent so many folks with chronic ailments to him with remarkable results. So you say that, that Alzheimer's is actually a preventable ailment, but may also be reversible if you have it. Absolutely. You know, the, the point that we have to make is that Alzheimer's is inflammation, just as we talked about inflammation of the heart, inflammation of the joints. So I think we have a graphic of this. Uh, the, the brain in the Alzheimer's patient is actually one that demonstrates this is actually imaging brain cells that are on fire. These are brain cells producing those same inflammatory chemicals that you might feel if your elbow's inflamed with arthritis or if your coronary arteries are inflamed with coronary arteries. Just disease. to be clear, this image that we're showing is a real person's head, a right, brain scan, uh, and those bright little areas you see there, they're not supposed to be there. All these little yellow little specks there, that's a sign of raging fires going on in different parts of the brain of someone who has Alzheimer's. And this is what we call the Alzheimer's brain or the brain on fire. And inflammation is something that we can control by our diets, by having a diet low in those things to which we are sensitive, high in things like DHA, organic resveratrol. Even physical exercise reduces inflammation and reduces a person's risk for Alzheimer's. We can grow new brain cells, something you and I never knew when we were in medical school. There's, there are two things that you have taught me uh, that surprised me. The first has to do with the kind of fats we eat. Because most of us were trained in conventional medicine to stay away from fats. A, a, you know, a heritage of advice that's gone on for generations. Absolutely. You disagree Absolutely. with that. Well, look, Mehmet, your brain is 70% fat. I'm not picking on you. Everyone's <laughs> brain is 70% fat. Fat is a good thing. The worst thing we could be is fat phobic. When you don't consume dietary fat, it's bad for the brain. You don't absorb vitamins A, D, E, and K. It's not the fat that's getting people in trouble. It's the amount of fat that they eat that's bad fat, the modified fats, the trans fats. These are good fats. Avocado, wonderful fat, coconut oil, even, dare I say, beef, if, as long as it's grass-fed has the right kind of fat, the omega-3s. And now I want to turn, if I can, to a, the topic that I have got into because I've had friends with the problem. Uh, that any of you out there who have relatives who have dementia already should pay attention to. This is a revolutionary treatment. It's still being tried, but it involves using oxygen therapy. So if you don't mind, explain what this is so everyone's on the same page. It's called hyperbaric oxygen. And, you know, the brain cells demand a lot of energy. And energy comes from the cells being able to use oxygen. It's why we take every breath that we take. Mm -hmm. But we can power the brain, as we can see in this graphic. We can power the brain by putting people into these types of chambers that enriches the atmosphere in which they're breathing under pressure and delivers a high dosage of oxygen to the brain. We see things that are just, it's a terrible pun, but take your breath away, that are really remarkable using this technology. And how often do they have to get into these chambers? Typically, uh, we do about 20 to 30 treatments. And I've got to ask the price because for a lot of folks, it's a difficult uh, issue. Well, you know, a lot of times insurance covers for hyperbaric oxygen, depending, of course, on what the illness is that we're treating. Mm. But I think people can expect to pay somewhere between two and $300 for the treatment. So next up, the gynecologist that I trust with my own family. She'll be here to reveal functional medicine's approaches to tackling hot flashes and the weight gain that comes with perimenopause. So stay tuned. That's very good. Thank you.